Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Zach Lawley. I'm a project manager here at Five Words Media and I am here with an Allen & Heath SQ5. Now the front and the back of this console are really set up to give you everything that you need right at your fingertips. There is a ton of expansion options on the back. If you have a stage rack like a 4816 from Allen & Heath, you can connect that via the S-Link port. They also have card options where you can put in a Waves card, a Dante card, another S-Link card, or a Maddie card. Additionally, the back of the console gives you a network jack where you can plug it into your network and control it with an iPad or their offline editor with Mac or Windows. The back of the console also gives you a ton of inputs and outputs. The size of that depends on which console you have. Now the top of this console is laid out perfectly. Everything's exactly where you would need it. From the left to the right, we have our preamp, our high pass filter, our gate, and our compressor thresholds right here. Those are easy to grab and turn, so you don't have to dig into menus and go very far. You also have your pan knob, so you can just select a channel and hit your pan. Uh, you have six soft keys on this side and two additional soft keys on the right side. We're gonna go through all these buttons underneath the screen here soon, but that allows you to get to all the pages within the screen very quick and easy. You have a talkback control and a touch and turn knob here, as well as your left and right meters or your PAFL meters, depending on how you wanna set those up. Your three knobs that'll control your EQ, as well as your four bands of EQ there. You have your USB input and an eighth inch aux input for like a computer or an iPhone. You have your headphone controller, as well as your headphone uh, output there. And then you have your four effects sends on this right hand side on the top. That is your sends from the console to your effects. We'll talk about that in an effects section later on. Then you have your 12 mixes or groups, depending on how you want to set it up. On this left hand side, you have your six layers here at the bottom. Then you have a copy, paste, and reset button. I use those quite often. It's super nice to have them right here, nice and handy. You have a pre-fade, assign, and channels to all mixes button. That makes it super easy if you're mixing monitors from this board. You can select one, push a fader up, and it'll push it to all of the mixes at once. Also, you have a view button which you can hold down and it'll tell you where your patching is, what input number it is, and so on and so forth. Lastly, we have this bi-color LED up here at the top. That gives you either white or blue LEDs. If you're in a dark environment, it's nicer to have something other than a bright white. Still be able to see the console, but not be shining like crazy.